Hello out there all you keen geographers and welcome to another how to skills video. In this video I'm going to show you how to make a map that has all of bolts. Bolts are the things maps need to have using Google Earth satellite technology. So bolts stands for border orientation legend title scale and source. So I'm going to show you how to make a map using Google Earth that has all of those. So the first thing I'm going to do is find the location. So I'm going to do Woolai in New South Wales. You can see I've already searched it before. So I'm just going to use a little search function and Google Maps, or Google Earth rather, is going to take me straight to that. Now Woolai actually runs along the coast here. This is the whole of Woolai here. But I'm going to show you, just for the purpose of this video, um, just a quick little map of the northern part of Woolai. So I'm going to use the projects button here and I'm going to create a project. Uh, and I'm going to click this top one here. It is worth noting you will need a Google account to make a uh, map using Google Earth. Um, so you'll need a Google account. So the first thing I'm going to do is go new feature and I'm going to click on draw line or shape. And what I'm going to do is I can zoom out as well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to map out the feature that I want to identify. And what I'm selecting here, this is a residential area. I'm just going to map this one out like so. You can also zoom in too if you want to be more exact or more exact than I'm being. And you can see it's come up with this yellow color here. So that's the outline color. I want to do the fill color, the same color. You don't have to give it a title for these polygons either. I'm going to click on back to make a new feature and click that again. I want to draw another line or shape. And this time I'm going to do the caravan park. So you can see it's that same yellow color, but we're going to change it. So I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to click the same red color. That's my caravan park done. The next one I want to show you is how to put in a place mark. So I'm going to select this venue here. This is a very important venue. It's the Wulai Hotel motel. So you do need to name that one. You can change the symbol of it as well and you can change the color like so. So let's say I'm finished uh, my map now. I'm finished annotating it using Google Earth technology. Now what I need to do is I need to put in bolts. And so how I'm going to do that is I'm actually going to take a snip of this map of this annotated satellite image and I'm going to finish it off in Microsoft Paint. So I'm going to click on my snipping tool. I'll show you how to search for it on your device. And I want to take a snip of this satellite image here. I want to get a bit of the coast in there too. All right, and then I'm going to click on this button here that says copy. I'm going to open up a Microsoft Paint file. And I'm going to go select, select an area, and then just press Control V to paste it in there like so. Okay, so I'm ready now to put in all of bolts. The first thing I'm going to do is that this is actually the easiest thing to do and very important you do it straight off with. Because I've taken a snip of this satellite image here, I've zoomed in and my scale is 400 meters. So there's two ways you can do this. I'll show you the easy way first, which is to take a snip of the scale. Like so. And then you just go copy, go back to your paint file, now I could cleverly paste this over the coast here so it doesn't look that different. Um, that's the easy way to do it, uh, maybe even the lazy way to do it. Um, I'll show you the second way you can do it that is essentially making your own scale. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to drag it into this empty space here. I'm going to zoom in on it and I'll show you what to do. So I'm going to select uh, this line shape here and then I'm going to select a random color that I can see very easily. I also want to change it to a thin line as well. And then I'm going to get my line and I'm going to put it over this length of 400 meters. Just make sure that that's right. And then I'm not actually happy with that. So I'm going to go right over this spot here. Make sure that's lined up. That's a bit better now. Now that I'm happy with that, I'm going to change it to black and then I'm going to move it. Then I can select select again. I can now delete that. Select black again, select the line, and I can have two little straight lines, just like 
Google Earth's scale had. Make sure they're the same size. Not happy with that. Not happy with that either. All right, that's better there. I need to select the text icon again. Now, if you go back into Google Earth, you'll see that's 400 meters. So that's what my scale needs to have as well. So you can just put that in the corner like so. Zoom out. Oh, I didn't like that. I'm actually going to remove that. Type in 400 meters again. Put it there. Then I'm going to get the select tool again. I'm going to highlight this area. I'll select this area. I'm going to put it in the bottom corner here to make it a bit neater too. I'm going to zoom in just so that it's not a blank area. I'm going to select the text, oh not the text box, just the square shape again. I'm going to put a border around it like so. So that's the, I guess the more exact way to do a scale so it looks a bit better on your Google Earth satellite image. Right, the next thing I'm going to do, um, B for bolt stands for border. So while I've got my rectangle shape selected here, I'm actually going to put a border around my map, which is very important. Just like so, that's an easy one to do. All right, the next one I'm going to do is we've got B for border, we've got S for scale. The next one I'm going to do is O for orientation. So I'm going to select uh, this tool again. I'm going to just get rid of this blank. Well, it's not blank, it's blank now. Just by highlighting that area and pressing delete. Now, my direction here is still facing north, so I'm going to go back into my paint file. I'm going to select this up arrow here, and I'm just going to make an up arrow, like so. Select the text and just put a little N for north. Make sure that's nice and underneath my arrow too. All right, that's, uh, that's O for orientation done. The next one I need to do is L for legend. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little legend down here. Just by selecting the rectangle so I've got a space to do my legend in. I want to select the text again. And I'm going to put a title called legend. Right, now I need to get the uh, symbols that are going to go in my legend that are on my map here. So I need to go back into my Google Earth window, click on projects, click on this project here, this one we've done. Now I'm going to select the first untitled polygon, which is my residential area, and click on yellow. Actually, I'm going to click on this random yellow here. So I'm, what I do, I want to get that exact color because that's the color I've used. So I'm going to make a new snip. I'm going to snip that color like this. I'm going to go copy, go back to here, select an area. I'm actually going to zoom in because it's going to pop up in the top corner of wherever I do it. Then I'm going to go paste and I'm going to put that one just there. Then I am going to write here, residential area. Put that next to my yellow symbol there. I'm going to go back here. I'm going to change that back to its normal color. Press on the back arrow. I need to do the same for the caravan park area. So I'm going to click on edit feature, scroll down, get rid of that color so I can take a snip of it. And go copy back to my paint file. I'm going to zoom in so I can get it more exact. And then I'm going to select an area and go paste. It'll appear in the top corner. Now the tricky part is I need all my symbols to be the same size. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hover over my existing one and adjust its width and length to match my existing yellow one. It's probably the fiddliest little bit, but they do all need to be the same size. I accidentally let it go just then, which is not good. Okay, length and width, and then move it down just here. Zoom out again, and then I'm going to type in Caravan Park. Make 
sure it's all in line. Very good. Now there's some other features I want to get to. I want to get the brown color for the Woolai Hotel Motel. So I'm going to press back. Go down to my place mark here. Edit a place mark. I want to take it off this brown color because I want to snip that brown color. Like so. Go copy. Back to my paint file. Now I want to zoom in on my yellow one here because, as you know, I need to make it the same size as the yellow one. Okay, so I'm just going to scroll over here. I'm going to zoom out because I need to make sure they're all in line with each other. I can select that feature again. Okay, and then get the text. And that is going to be the Woolai Hotel Motel. Put that text in line with that. All right, now there's some other features I want to get here too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into my Google Earth window get out of this so I've got some more space. So one feature I definitely want to get is all this vegetation that exists around my map as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just zoom in very slightly and I'm going to take a snip of this vegetation. So you can use the features that are already on the Google Earth satellite image. It's my Word doc. To assist you in this process as well. So again, we've got to make sure all our features are the same size. Well, that's pretty close. Making sure everything is in line. You can also use these dimensions here to help you with keeping things in line. And this symbol is for my vegetation. Keep that in line there. Very good. The next one I'm going to do now is I want to get the water. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to zoom in actually, because a nice bit of water to get this from the ocean. That has the clearest one for me. Take a snip of that. And put it in with all my other features. I've gotten pretty close again. Okay, move that over, making sure that it is in line. Give that one order. Alrighty, and the last one I'm going to do is of course the sand, because I can see a few sandbars building in the Woolai River here. So I want to take a snip of that. Like so. Might zoom in just a little, make it a bit easier. Select an area, control V, make sure it's all the same size. All right, making sure that everything is in line. All right. Then I'm going to go sand. And that is going to be my legend done. So that's how you make a legend using your annotated features on your Google Earth satellite image that you've snipped, uh, but then also making use of the existing features on the satellite image as well. Okay, so in terms of bolts, I've got my border around my map. I have my orientation, O for orientation. I have my legend. I don't have my title or my source yet, but I have my scale. So I'm ready to put this into a Word document now. So I'm going to go on this drop down menu from select and I'm going to press select all. That's going to select the whole image for me. I'm just going to press control V on my laptop. Go into my Word document. This is actually going to look better in landscape. So I'm going to change this to landscape. And then I'm going to press control V. And that is going to paste my map in there. Now I might adjust it just for the purpose of this video. Okay, 
the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a border uh, just around my map just to keep it all nice and tidy. So I'm going to click on shapes. I'm going to click on this square here. Now, one thing I need to do is I need to make that transparent. So I'm going to go shape fill, no fill, and then shape outline I'm going to pick is black. So that's going to be nice and tidy for me. Underneath here too, I need to put my figure title. So figure one, let's say this is the first figure in my assessment task map of Woolai, New South Wales. Underneath that, I need my source. And my source is of course from Google Earth. Now just to make that nice and tidy, I'm gonna remove the spacing. Actually, that doesn't look as good. So I'm just gonna remove the spacing from here. That's better. Then I'm gonna make sure that's in Arial 11. Very good. Okay guys, so that is how you make a map using Google Earth technology. Um, you can annotate it and then what you need to have for a map, so bulk. So we've got our border, we've got a border around our whole figure, but a border around our map. We have orientation, we have a legend, we have a title, we have a scale, and we have a source. So thanks for watching guys. If you want to stay up to date with any other how-to videos, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you next time.